Welcome to Engineering Scale Models. I'm Jason, your host, and I do models. How is everybody doing today? Today we are going to be looking at Logic Chips, and we're going to be looking at the CD4000 series. And here's how this works. You can get a box of Logic Chips on Amazon between $8 and $10. Um, let me show you this on this camera here between eight and ten dollars these are some of the 74 LS series and I'll be looking at those later but uh, first I don't have the box but these are some uh, CD 4000 series chips and we're gonna take a look at these and their functions and their pinouts and how to use them so this is gonna be like I don't know, like a reference video so I'm gonna do a short video for each chip so if we come back here okay so our first chip we're gonna be looking at is C D four zero zero one and this happens to be a B okay and this is a CMOS nor K chip. So, we, if you remember, if you watched my logic series, a nor gate truth table is let's draw a truth table A, B, and we have our output. If A is 1 and B is 0, this is going to be zero because it's the opposite if this is one and this is one this is going to be zero if this is one and this is one this is going to be zero but if it's zero zero this will be one so yeah I believe that's correct just check the truth table on the data sheet to make sure. Well, we'll look at the data sheet here. So this is the data sheet for the CD4100. And this also comes in a 4002 and a 40,000 4025 and the difference is the number of inputs on the NOR gates let's see if we can find a lot of data on these sheets And we have the dual inline package. Okay, I'm pretty sure that truth table's right. If it's either or, it's the opposite. Because it's, it's neither or. So, let's take a look at the data sheet here. So, it has four, if you look right here, it has four of these uh, NOR gates. And if you look at the O2, it has two three input NOR gates. And if you look at the 25, it has three four input NOR gates. So if you need some NOR gates, this is the chip to go to. So it looks like here if we zoom in we looks like we zoom in we have pin one two three is your fourth first one and that's a b j so input one is a input b is j and then the it's a plus b is the opposite what comes out on J. So whatever A and B is, it's the inverse. So 
and then you have C a D equals K here so you have 5 and 6 and your outputs 4 and now you have looks like G and H are your inputs and your outputs on M which is 11 so 12 and 13 and then 11 and then you have 8 and 9 and 10 is your output so and power and ground power goes to 14 ground goes to 7 so let's take a look at this chip closer so if we come in here a little breadboard and we take our chip here hopefully you can see the number on there barely CD0 that's not the right chip there it is Barely see it. CD four zero zero one B. So I'm going to stick this in my circuit here, and there like that. And I have it oriented so pin one is this corner here. So this would be pin fourteen, and this would be pin seven. I'm going to hook it up to power and ground. First, I'm going to connect my rails here. Okay, so and then we would take our, our power input up here, so that would be positive, and this would be negative. Now, if we, that wasn't on there, so I haven't hooked power to it yet, but we could come in closer and look here. hoping to get the chip number in there but it didn't work out that way so we have here is pin 14 and pin 7 that's your um, plus 5 volts uh, minus 5 or 0 volts right here then we have pin 1 so this is your input 1 and input 2 and your output is here and then the next way it goes is your input on pin 6 and then your input on pin 5 and pin 4 is your output and then on this side pin 13 and 12 are your input and 11 is your output and then you have 8 and 9 are your input and 10 is your output now, if you watched my other logic series on a uh, NOR gate, I built a little circuit with transistors. This basically has all the transistors in there, and it has four gates. So I'm going to hook up a little switch here so you can see the output of it and see how the logic works. Okay, we have the circuit built here. We have um, 5 volts coming into this switch. We have a pull-down resistor and that switch is connected to input 1 of the first uh, NOR gate and then we have switch 2 5 volts coming in pull down resistor going to input 2 and we have this LED plugged into output the output on the first gate and you see the LED is on but if I press any of these bringing these high so if I put a 1 in here the LED goes off put a one in here it goes off and put a one in both of them it goes off so either or is pressed it goes off hence the NOR gate it's like an inverted OR gate now we can you know we can move this around here 
we can put this here and then we can take these two and plug them into the next one and we have the same circuit so there you go we have you know four of these in this circuit and you can you know use different logic chips chips to make different um, combinational logic to do different things in your circuit but we're gonna look at these as a reference for each of these chips that I have in this 4000 series we'll take a look at their data sheets their pinouts and then how they, they work on the circuit board but that's going to be do it for this one it's going to be short thank you guys so much